This episode, our last night on Gari, and we need to get up around quarter to four in the morning to make this day work. But he was watching me pack up. I mean, it was four o'clock in the morning and the other one's down there. There was two of them. See you next time, mate. Now, welcome back. What we've got here, it's not an escape plan. It's a plan to be inland for the incoming tide. So what we had, if we'd woken up at a normal time today, we would have been stuck at camp until near lunchtime. And what we wanted to do is go visit Lake Mackenzie again. So we're three hours before the high. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll ditch the caravan at Yurong and we'll go into Lake Mackenzie. And then come out after lunch for the next low where we'll get on the barge. Yep, the tide's quite close here. You better get past it, Dan. You're gonna have to. They're going to Happy Valley. They're going to Happy Valley, they didn't go up there. The tide's up high there. You don't think, no. We have to go up, don't we? Yeah. So this is the Yidney Rocks Bypass. Hopefully we're not waking up sleeping. And it's two ways, great. We've got the caravan behind us. How cool does that look though, kids? Because it's asleep. Huh? Because it's asleep. Where's the oh, Nick, Nicholas went back to sleep. The good thing about travelling now is there's no, not going to be any oncoming traffic. We hope. It's getting tighter, isn't it? Feels like we're coming back down on the beach now. Some say we're nuts. The caravan's going to hit this for sure. Soft, soft lantana. Left to the beach, you reckon? Try the beach? No, no. We're lucky that it's been raining too, because that was a bit soft behind us. But it's not too bad anyway, this is downhill now. So according to our Toyota GPS, we're nearly on the beach. Mum's done a stellar job navigating. All right, what's the water doing? Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. High, but we're okay, I think. We haven't got much time, but we'll get there. You right? Yep. I don't see any tire marks on this beach, you? No. Definitely the first to travel it today, or since the tide. Vision is poor. We should get to see a spectacular sunrise, though. I have to send it here. Yeah, go. It's getting sketchy. Another hour and we would have been no show. It's starting to rain now too. A bit of rock crawling before breakfast, kids. So that was 55 minutes of high range, basically flat to the ground, second gear. There's Yurong. See the massive aerial. So we're nearly there. Will we make it? We missed a backtrack. We did miss a backtrack, but it's okay over here. Oh, this water. <laughs> That's flat stick, second. Normally wouldn't even do this in a car, let alone towing a van. This, I wouldn't. I would prefer not to. One, boom! Somebody's following us. Is it? No. Is there someone behind yeah, us? Yeah, it looks like a white box. Ah. The milkman's behind us. Oh, this is 
soft air. You can tell straight away it's bogs down. Guess what? We made it. Guess what it wants to do? A burn. A burn. Are you serious? We did it. Yay. I'll enjoy this coffee. This is the place that we get pies from. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Maga! <laughs> Hang on. See how it happened. I, I took it too easy. <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I got too excited that we made it and we're stuck. Oh dear. The little plan in my head was to reverse back to the water's edge and get a bigger run up. Are we going to send it all the max tracks? Mate? Are we going to send it or use the max tracks? I'll use max tracks. Who would need these, I thought? Max tracks. Haven't used these ever. All you do is put them under the spots where your tyres are getting bored. I haven't even had coffee yet. We only have two, so I'm gonna have to use them on the back too. Oh, that makes it simple. Stop. So soft. Hello again. Try one more. Yep. The longer we take, the more tight's gonna come in. That's right, mate, and the later it gets, the more people wake up and come down onto the beach and see us stuck. We made it out of the sand. Send it. Right. <laughs> so soft, Dan. No. Nah. Got Millie pulling out the winch and then a ranger just came in beside us and he got stuck too without a caravan on it so we're all in here. It's getting close to the black. So the owners of the Ford came over and I found out exactly what their situation was. They needed to be at Kingfisher to get the barge over to Harvey Bay. So they needed to get unstuck quick. They had friends that they were camping with further south down the beach. Got phone reception, made the call. Now he wasn't gonna get stuck again. No trailer though, plus it was his second go. Look at these tires. They're just filled with sand. So I understand now when I see travelers and they've got four or six max tracks clamped onto their trailers, caravans, or backs of utes. Two we had helped, but more would have been more helpful. That's why you don't buy cheap max tracks. not like max trucks. <laughs> I'm so close, eh? I know. I know, I might unhitch you. I'll put a facile sign on it. <laughs> one more winch, and then what, are you going to come round? No, I'll just fly around. Old mate in the 105, 
stuck around and I could see he really wanted to recover us, to pull us out with his snatchy. He was a lovely guy, also from New South Wales, so I couldn't take that away from him. Land Cruiser getting towed by a Land Cruiser. Let's get the max tracks. I was under the max tracks. That was so funny. You right? This little scene here is a Toyota driver thanking a Toyota driver for getting him out of a Dad. pickle. Right, we've gotten rid of the boat anchor and we're doing another trip to Lake Mackenzie. It looks like we might be lucky with the weather today too. Have a look at that. That's what Lake Mackenzie is supposed to look like. Next episode, we've still Got to enjoy our time here, but we've also got to get back to Yurong, pick up the van, and get down the beach to pick up the barge. I hope you enjoyed this video. Not often that we're winching with a caravan in tow. And as always, thanks for watching.